hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i want to show you guys how to create a dynamic column selection using power bi parameters here you can see i have the sales the profit discount and gross sales all together in one slicer as well as uh, plotted against the product and all of them they are all grouped together in a parameter field so um at the end of this video we are also going to add another uh, feature whereby if i select sales it shows a different color as well as profit discount and gross sales and uh, this is actually a very wonderful uh, um, a wonderful uh, feature that can help in visualizing your data so uh, follow me to the end let me show you guys how to do this so i'm using a very simple Power BI data set so i'll just go ahead and open a blank a new uh, power bi file and uh, will load the default data set just for this video so just go ahead and select try the data set and bring in this financial table make sure you select it first then you load it so once we do that um, if you preview the data you should be able to see the same field there the sales the discount the gross sales and the profit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a measure to get me the sum of those four columns but i'll let you do that on a new table so i'll create a new measure table and i'll just call it measure let's keep everything simple and i'll add it to the data section and in here it's a table because there's a column in it but let's add one measure and remove the column but let's start with the cells we want to get the sum of the sales sum of the sales and then let's take out this column so that this table can remain as a major table second we are going to bring in the profit let's bring in the profit and it's nothing but the sum of the profit we are going to repeat the same thing for the discount and also the gross sales. So this is going to be the discount to sum of the discount. Sum of the discount. And uh, this is going to be the sum of the gross sales. sales so after getting your measures it could be any kind of calculation at all that you're doing but make sure you get them into the measure table they must be in the measure table first so we navigate to this model tab after the home and insert tab then go to this new parameter here click the drop down and select the field parameter so i'll expand this measure table and bring in the sales bring in the profit third by discount then gross sales once i hit quit it will automatically add it to a power bi slicer let me show you and uh <clears throat> there you go we have all this numeric this currency um field here in this power bi table all grouped together in this slicer so from the preview uh we display this as a tiles it's not really important but for this video let's go and do the same thing leave this place as a ties you can this you can show your slicer the way you want it if you want to drop down or here you want it but let's just leave it as a ties for this video so let's go ahead and get our stack bar chart so remember i told you that we were able to group all of this um sales profit and all in one particular um axis i'll show you what i mean by that so how do we get all of them here if we come back to this um if we come back to this um parameter here we can see all of the parameter names so what we need to do is come to the table view and actually unhide this so that we can get the parameter field itself so click the drop down and unhide it so once you do that it should appear in the report view so we're going to get the parameter field into the x-axis 
and uh, we'll come here and get the product that is what we're showing it against you get the product in the y-axis and there you go to be able to get the sales profit discount and cross sales into one axis all grouped together neatly and we can select the names up here to see each uh, particular sales product discount or gross sales by each respective product so uh one feature that i want to add here again you see once we navigate through it it shows blue as a default color for all of them and i don't want that i actually want it i actually want them to know that okay now we are in the sales now we are in the product now we're in the discount now we're in the gross sales so what we need to do is we'll add a conditional uh formatting on this bars so once again go to the format click on the stack bar chart go to the format visual and scroll down to the bars and click the conditional formatting here so we want to apply that to the parameter field name so click the parameter field name not the parameter field is what that so we want to say if the value is sales if it's sales then let's display the default color and we'll add another view another row we we'll say if it's profit we want to add another uh, color here i prefer green for profit show that yeah there's something good coming in and we'll add another row and we'll say if it's discount one thing you should keep note is your spellings if they're not right uh, something might miss so the last one there is the gross gross sales so in the gross sales let's pick this particular uh, deep blue here and let's just hit ok i want to see that the cell is still remaining on this default blue color but when we move to profit we'll see that the color will change as well as the discount and the gross sales so this is how you can add a dynamic column selection using power, meter, uh, power bi uh, parameter as a uh, <coughs> as well as adding other features on it if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that and also share this video to your loved ones thank you for watching stay blessed